Hello trainers, Ganeto here and today we're gonna dive together into my legend run from the previous season on Cratch Cup which means that you can use this team pretty effectively on this new start of the season, the season of the mythical wishes. We're gonna have a Shadow Swambert up on the lead followed up by Miltank and that amazing Alola Sandslash. What I figured out about Cratch Cup was that everyone was having something like a Trevenant, Nido Queen or even a Noctowl at the back so that my Sandslash can help against those threats and of course it has access to Bulldoze which will help even more against Steelix, against Toxapex and uh, to be honest that felt pretty healthy for me so I went for the Sunslash. it was one Pokemon that I already had but uh, yeah I want that legend since I was at the 2900s and today we're gonna dive into my legend run here with a pretty short video not gonna run uh, that uh, full two set video I'm just gonna showcase my run and then the Pikachu Libre battle. Uh, so here we're gonna go down to those uh, charms from the Shadow Granbull. A pretty amazing Pokemon for that current meta. Hopefully though we got a Steel type Pokemon on the face of the Alola Sanselas which can go in and completely farm down. They know that so they come in with a Stunfisk on its Unova form I believe. So they can take super effective damage from my uh, Ice Punches here. And of course I managed to catch the Mad Bomb on the Swambert which is pretty big at the moment and all we need to do now is to go ahead, use the Ice Punch and finish off this Stunfisk. They can survive with 1 HP though and the Dream. This is a bummer. Can we survive trainers? Yes, we can survive the super effective uh, move. They still have the Ground Bull and we can farm down before they do with those charms and uh, that charm damage was absolutely absurd. Even resisted because it was no not nerfed down by that uh, moment. The new season had not started yet. So this team is looking pretty cool on the new season as well and I'm just gonna keep going here against the Toxic Rock. Toxic Rock is the worst lead scenario because on the two shield scenario they can definitely finish us off and then Swambert will be gone and the backline will be severely weak to the Toxic Rock. So how I like to play this is to go in with Miltank and uh, do a bot slam to finish this Pokemon off while not blocking at all and in my mind since the Toxic Rock is out of the way I can safely go in with my Sunslash and perhaps sweep the entire battle. So down they go at the back lies the Skarmory and the Swambert on its shadow form which means that the double Ice Punch will be it for that Pokemon. Down goes a nice chunk out of the Swambert but let's see trainers because we lose the CMP we definitely need to over farm just a little bit or am I just gonna go for it? Just gonna go for it Ice Punch here able to destroy straight down Shadow Swambert and now this uh, Skarmory sends no chance because we resist anything and everything so even if they go for the Brave Bird I'm pretty sure we can survive. If they go for the Flash Cannon though that could be interesting but uh, do they have Flash Cannon? That is something that I really want to see right now. Uh, Ice Punch here is gonna connect for not big damage but still uh, enough to bring them to uh, the red uh, section. Now they go for the Sky Attack they cannot farm down I'm just gonna reach there to the Ice Beam and I'm gonna get to another big victory for my legend run. At that moment I was 2-0, I was needing one more win. Can we do it? We still have three more battles. Uh, so Steelix up on the lead, they have a Pelipper on the switch, things are not looking that well because Pelipper, if they want to, they can still finish me off. So they want to go here for the Weather Ball, look at how much damage they do, and in combination with the Wing Attacks they can still bring me to no HP with another Weather Ball. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, uh, spam my way to victory with those Ice Punches, and I decide to shield here because I know I need to keep that Steelix away from my Miltank, because Miltank is getting kinda walled by Steelix, even on its shadow form, those Ice Beams are never enough to finish off the Steelix. They have to go for another one, another Weather Ball, and now I'm pressing the move. That was kind of a poor energy management from my part. Down goes now the Pelipper. Let's see how they decide to play this. For a moment, I was like, let's switch out to the Swambert, then I regretted it. And they have a puzzle at the back. So a fighter at the back can be a real troublemaker for this team. But uh, overall, you can see that even the Toxic Rock against the Toxic Rock before, Milton can do a lot of work. 
however against this Basel, well we do not have a lot of things to do because Toxic Rock doesn't have a fighting charge attack while this Basel does so that super power is gonna destroy down the mill tank and one more move will be more than enough to bring uh, my Swambert into no it's spin combination with a few uh, counters so yeah that was a bummer that was a tough loss at the moment I knew that I needed one more win from my next two battles and we're having the Gaslord here trainers up on the lead we have to switch out that was a pretty bad lead and at the back lies a toxic rock well we cannot survive that for sure uh, but uh, what we can do is to go ahead use the body slam and perhaps then we can snipe down with a tie spin because body slam did less than 50% let's see trainers boom down goes toxic rock that was amazing mill tank with the overkill and gas lord now returns we have kind of flipped around the lead scenario at that moment i was like okay we got it we just need six points and this is gonna be the win for sure but it all depends on the last pokemon let's go now with that uh, uh, ice punch able to deliver lethal damage to that uh, gas lord at the back lies the salazzle and look at that one incinerate will be more than enough to finish us off at that moment i was pretty frustrated i could not even uh, recognize the typing here and i was like okay what is it what is it is this gonna be something like an lamarwak what is poison and uh, fire i had no clue at all and yeah trainers that happened so at this point we just have to block uh the dragon claws and go for the earthquake for the kill however they still have a sealed up are they gonna shield yes they are trainers and that was a bummer so at this point we're gonna go down to this to those dragon claws and we're gonna take another victory it is all or nothing trainers the final battle of the set we got a galarian starfish cap on the lead looking pretty solid knocked out on the switch and we're gonna over farm so much that we will try to cut on the Ola Sandslash eventually we can do that here comes the sky attack resisted doing no damage at all and at this point i'm just gonna go with the ice punch i know that i might have to sacrifice a shield here because I want to completely farm down and if I can get out of here with a decent amount of HP well even Stunfisk will not be a problem at all I can still go with a Bulldoze and do severe damage to their HP levels by doing super effective damage with my Bulldoze here it is trainers let's see now if they sealed or not I do not expect a seal to be honest so here it is and now we'll try to go for the switch to the Shadow Swambert to pressure even more that Stunfisk they decide to block at the back lies the Venusaur can we we get to the earthquake yes we can this is gonna connect for massive damage but they decide to shield things are not looking that great yet because that Venusaur now has a lot of eight spirit to go however I decide to go in with my Sunslash use the ice punch but they can still hold on to their HP levels I was not expecting that I thought that Shadow uh, Venusaur could not survive the move but they did because ice punch is a terrible move overall even when it is stabbed from a Pokemon like Kalula Sun slash they go with a rock slide here and they have the stun visc against my full health uh, mill tank and let's see now if we have quite what it takes to bring them to no HP this is all or nothing let's go with the ice beam trainers this is gonna connect for massive damage but still not enough and this final body slam will get the uh, win that we all wanted here so that we can get to legend now this is uh, a 3 to 0 uh, a 3 2 actually uh, set so we're just gonna take that uh, yeah Litwick we do not care at all let's see now the next Next uh, milestone and here it is trainers the legend mark with a team that I think will help you a lot on uh, this new season we're gonna get those clothes and now we're gonna move forward into my Pikachu Libre match because I spent uh, a premium pass to get there I did not have a lot of uh, resources uh, available and a lot of sets uh, so it was like there is only uh, not that much of a time because that was the last day of uh, uh, the past season the season 12 so i was uh, pretty obliged in using uh, a premium pass in order to get my pikachu libre uh, so i've been here on the shadow steelix we just need to win one match and we're gonna get there to that amazing reward and let's see together if we can get it on its shadow on its shiny actually uh form we're gonna be able to take that psychic funks and because in the process we took one uh, shield out of them i was uh, pretty happy with that i'm just gonna take this move whatever it is i don't care at all about swambert at this point uh down goes that steelix with the amazing farm down and pretty aggressive at the 
At the moment, they come in with the Trevenant and we have a lot of energy to spare. Here comes the Hydro Cannon, one more able to connect here for massive damage on the Trevenant. They still have one shield and one last Pokemon. It is gonna be the Stunfisk. It all depends now on this matchup. If they go for that Earthquake, we simply lost, okay? Because I'm not gonna block the first one. I'm just gonna accept my fate here. I think that this is not gonna be an Earthquake. Oh, okay. I outplayed myself. I totally forgot about that. It is gonna be a Rock Slide. So they go now for another move and I was like okay I'm not gonna risk it at all we have so much energy to spare now I remember correctly and we have to go now for the double ice punch to finish off this uh, Galarian Stunfisk they're gonna use a shield and go for another rock slide are you kidding me so perhaps they do not even have earthquake i don't know so i managed to catch here another rock slide on that shadow swamber that was pretty crucial and we just have to use now the ice punch on the galaria stanfisk and on the trevenant to grab this amazing victory and get the pikachu libre for this season so that was a crazy run overall thank you for watching everyone uh, till uh, the end i hope you liked today's video just be sure to leave a huge like before you go subscribe to the channel and as you're looking at uh, this uh, uh, Pikachu Libre, I went out of there because I was like, what are you doing, Ganeto? You have to get your Pikachu Libre. Uh, well, farewell to you trainers, and I hope to see you all into the next one. Take care, everyone. So told you just need you